Good morning, everyone. Just getting the cameras set and we will get started in a moment. All right, looking good. All right, welcome everyone. Happy Sunday. My name is Lindsay Silbert and I will be leading you through a 45 minute gentle yoga class this morning. Um, gentle yoga is an awesome way to get into the body, but really just move in slowly, mindfully, and um, really set yourself up for a great day ahead. So I know it sounds a little corny, but starting your day off with yoga can be a really great, um, great addition into your routine. So we are going to start seated today, and I've just got a blanket. If you have a blanket or towel handy, um, go ahead and grab it, and we're going to sit our hips up on that. So you're going to create yourself a little cushion, so just kind of fold the towel or the blanket, whatever it is, and then you'll come into a comfortable cross-legged seat. So elevating the hips as much as feels appropriate on the body. And when we elevate the hips a little bit, it helps us to maintain length through our spine. So if you have a yoga block at home, you can also sit yourself up on that. Um, if it's more comfortable, you can grab a pillow if you've got a couch handy. Um, but again, we're just gonna start in a comfortable cross-legged seat. If this is not comfortable, um, find any other seated pose that is. And we'll just start connecting in here today. You can rest the hands, either palms up or down on the legs. And once you're settled, begin to close the eyes. Take a moment to bring the shoulders up to the ears and releasing them down, down the back. And begin to bring the awareness to the sitting bones. And feel them ground down into whatever surface it is you're sitting on. Feel the connection and the heaviness there. Relaxing through the hips. Legs are heavy. And then begin to bring the awareness up. So from the sitting bones, begin to lengthen the crown of the head towards the sky or ceiling if you're inside. And keep the chin level to the, level to the mat, shoulders soft, and belly is gently firm here to support the length of the spine. So we're getting a little bit longer, a little bit more space through the body here. And then beginning to focus in on the breathing, wherever you feel the breath the most, the nose, the throat, the belly, the chest, wherever it might be for you today, just watching your inhales and your exhales. See if you can even notice the slight pause between the inhale and the exhale and between the exhale and the next breath in. Just follow the entire length of the breath cycle. With your next cycle of breath, begin to deepen and slow down your breathing. Really feel your belly and your chest rise and expand as you inhale. Belly softens and releases on the exhale. And just take some more deep breaths just like that. And just noticing, noticing if the mind starts to time travel into the future or the past. Maybe even jump into planning mode or whatever it is for you. Whenever you notice that though, just bring the attention back to the breathing. Slow, deep, smooth inhales and exhales. I invite you to take a moment here to set your intention for this morning's practice. Maybe your reason for coming to your mat, maybe intending to stay present or send out some positive energy, bringing something to mind now, all intentions are welcome. And we'll be here for three more cycles of breath.
to your next exhale. We'll gently blink the eyes open and we'll switch the cross of the legs. So face the other shin in front and then we'll tempt the fingers down next to us, next to the hips and really use the fingers to root down as you lengthen the crown of the head up and feel the spine elongate even more. Belly firm so here. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, drop your right ear over towards your right shoulder. Take a couple breaths here, not options. You can flex the left wrist so the fingertips draw back towards the face. And then maybe if you want to go a little deeper, you gently place the right hand on the head without pulling just a little added pressure. Take another breath or two. Softening the shoulders. And then we'll release that, inhale back to center, and exhale over to the left, left ear towards the left shoulder. And same thing here, if you want, you can extend the right arm out, flexing the wrist, and then maybe you decide to rest the left hand on the head. Breathing here. In your neck a little bit of love. And slowly release back to center. As you inhale, we'll reach the arms out around and up. And as you exhale, bring the fingertips down in front, pull the heart forward and glue the sitting bones down into whatever surface you're sitting on and slowly begin to walk yourself forward, taking a stretch through the hips here, softening the shoulders, keep leading with the heart. So maybe you only come forward a little bit. Maybe you can come all the way down and rest the head. Let's take two more deep breaths. cycle here. Just gently moving into the body today. And then we'll walk the hands back up and we'll switch the cross of the legs. So place the other shin in front. So the one we started with. All right. Tempt the fingers up next to you. Grow the spine long. Take an inhale. Reach the arms out around and up. This time we're going to take a side stretch to the right. Right hand down. Left arm reaches up over the left ear. If you want, you can crawl those right fingertips out. And then as you stretch up and over, glue the left sitting bone down. Take a couple breaths. It's okay on the neck, you can gaze up. Next inhale brings you back up to center, both arms reach, and then as you exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches up and over. Same thing here, glue that right sitting bone into the mat. As you stretch up and over, getting into the whole right side of the body here. Again, you can bend that left elbow, crawl those fingertips out, whatever feels best. Really only going into what feels good in your body. If you feel pain, you immediately want to come out. We'll inhale back to center, reach both arms up and then fingertips down. Pull the heart forward as you lengthen the spine and then walk yourself out. Getting into the hip stretch on the opposite hip. And again, you keep leading with the heart, softening the shoulders and gluing the sitting bones down beneath you. Take another breath or two. Excellent, and then we'll walk the hands up and we will roll onto our hands and knees coming into a tabletop. So if you've got your blanket or your towel, just move it to the side and we'll set ourselves up into a tabletop, stacking our wrists right beneath our shoulders and knees stacked directly underneath the hips. Moving through some cat-cow cycles. So as you inhale, you'll drop the belly, lifting the chin and lifting the tailbone. As you exhale, round the spine, pull the belly in and drop the chin towards the chest. Inhale to wheel the heart forward. Opening the front of the body. Exhale, round in. Keep moving with your own pace of breath. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Last two cycles, wherever you are.
excellent. And then come to a neutral spine. I'm just gonna switch, face this way. All right, neutral spine, flat back. Firm the belly and keep the crown of the head reaching forward. Tuck the right toes, send the right leg back, and then we'll lift from the inner thigh. So if you look back, all five toes point straight down. Now both hands can stay, or you can extend the left arm forward. Opposite arm, opposite leg, or again, just keep that leg lifted and both hands down. Three breaths here, neck stays long, so gaze is right down beneath you. Flex the right ankle and drive through that heel. Soften the shoulders, one more breath. And coming to a modified side plank. So place the left hand down, kickstand the left foot back behind you and stamp the right foot down onto the mat, reaching the right arm up. All right, lots of options here. Right arm can stay lifted or reach the right arm over the right ear. Maybe lift the right leg up, flexing that ankle, or if you want to go for it, you can step out into a full side plank. So I'm going to work here. Three breaths wherever you are. Lift out of the left shoulder. Last one here. Excellent. Coming back into our tabletop. Hands and knees. Two rounds of cat-cow before we do the other side. So inhale. Drop the belly, lift the heart, exhale, round in. Inhale, wheel the heart forward. Exhale, press the floor away as you spread the shoulder blades. And then coming into a neutral spine, once again, we'll do the left side. So tuck the left toes, send the left leg back and lift from the inner thigh, dropping the outer left hip down firming the belly and maybe extending the right arm forward. Again, only an option. You can keep both hands down. Really drive through that left heel like you're pressing it into a wall behind you. Breath is strong and smooth. One more cycle here. All right, side plank, right hand down. Kickstand the right foot back behind you. Stamp the left foot down and lift the left arm up. Same options, left arm stays up or over the left ear. Keep that left leg down or lift it up. Last option, full side plank. Three breaths wherever you are. See if you can relax the head back a little. If the left leg is lifted, really just flex the ankles no matter where you are. And then take one more deep breath. Excellent, come on back to a tabletop. And we'll walk the hands forward as we press into our child's pose, hips to heels. And if you want to get into the hips a little bit, walk the knees wide as the big toes come together. And then relax the head, melt the forehead. Just allow yourself to breathe space into the spine here. Take three long, slow cycles of breath. Slowly come on up to hands and knees. Walk the knees back together if you made them wide. And we're gonna step the right foot up right next to the right hand coming into a low lunge. So step it up. If it didn't make it, pick it up, move it forward, and then we'll walk the hands up on that right thigh. Begin to hinge the hips forward, opening the heart and softening the shoulders down the back. Left toes can be tucked or untucked, whatever feels better for the body. And then option to extend the arms all the way up. So lots of options here. Now you can stay with arms extending up or we're gonna make some arm circles. So take an inhale. As you exhale, circle the arms out and around. We'll do two more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, circle as you reach the palms open. Last cycle here. Exhale, reach around. Lift the arms up. Take one more breath. And then we'll reach the fingertips down and we'll tuck the left toes, lift the left knee and step to the top of the mat. So step the left foot up to meet the right foot. Now parallel the feet, bring them about hips distance apart. As you inhale, slide the hands up the shins or the thighs, lengthen into a flat back. Keep a gentle bend in the knees if that feels better. Take a breath here. And then as you exhale, bend the knees and fold over the legs. Really bend the knees a lot. You can rest the belly on the thighs, tuck the chin to release the back of the neck, and take a breath here. 
And then slowly roll yourself up to stand. Nice and slow. Bring the shoulders up to the ears, release them down the back. Glance down at the feet. Again, make sure outer edges are parallel. Close the eyes. Pull up on the kneecaps to engage the quadriceps. We're working into our mountain pose here. Soften the shoulders down the back. Lift the heart up. Take a full breath. And we'll inhale, reach the arms out, around, and up. As you exhale, hinge forward, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, lengthen the spine, halfway lift, hands up the shins or thighs. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms. We're going to step back to tabletop. All right. Now we're going to go into the left side. Before we go into our, you know, chaturangas, cobras, all that good stuff, we're going to step the left foot forward. So step the left foot forward, and we'll come into our lunge on this side. So walk the hands up that left thigh and begin to sink the hips down as you lift the heart up and slide the shoulders away from the ears. Same options here, back toes tucked or untucked. Hands on the thigh or extend those arms up. If you're reaching the arms up, energize through the fingertips, but soften the shoulder blades down the back. All right, option to stay here, take an inhale. As you exhale, circle the arms, open the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring them around. One more of these. Exhale, bring them around. Good. Inhale, reach up. Stay here for another breath. Squeeze the inner thighs together. And then we'll bring the fingertips down around that left foot. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, and we'll step the right foot up to the top of the mat. Inhale to pull the heart forward once again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Slowly come on up. And then connect the palms in front of the heart. We'll find our mountain pose, Tadasana, once again at the top of the mat. So take a moment here. Close the eyes. Notice how the body feels. And we'll flow through some sun salutations. We'll take these modified, but take any variations you like. All right, one full breath together, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold from the hips. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale, we'll step back to our plank pose. So bend the knees, plant the palms, and step back to plank. Knees lower down to the mat. We'll stay here for a couple cycles, pulling the belly. Sliding the shoulders down on the back, away from the ears. You can always keep the knees lifted if that's more appropriate for you today. Take one more breath. And then inhale, shift the shoulders forward. Exhale, slowly lower down to the belly. Untuck the toes, hands by the side ribs. Press the tops of the feet down. We're going to do three cobra push-ups. Inhale, peel the heart up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Two more. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, lower down. Last one here. We're going to hold. Inhale, peel up. And then maybe lift the arms up. See if you can keep yourself up just as high by pressing the pubic bone and pressing the tops of the feet down. One more breath. And then we'll press back to a child's pose. Option, stay in child's pose, breathing here, or if you would like to make your way into downward facing dog, come on up to hands and knees, spread the fin fingers, spin the inner elbows forward, tuck the toes, lift the knees, and stretch the hips back. Just begin to pedal the legs out in your downward facing dog. Now again, if this does not work for you, please stay in child's pose. Child's pose is a great option. Maybe you come into down dog for a couple breaths and then set the knees down and find child's again. Whatever works for you. Wherever you are, take two more breaths. Tuck the chin to release the back of the neck. On your next inhale, you'll gaze towards the top of the mat, bend the knees, and as you exhale, walk the feet towards the hands. Inhale, pull the heart forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, root down to rise up. Reach the arms out, around, and up. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. 
We'll keep it moving now. We're gonna do three cycles of those, linking breath with movement, so moving a little bit quicker, but please take your time, rest whenever you need. All right, here we go. Full cycle of breath together, big inhale. Exhale to release. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plank pose. Bend the knees, step back. Knees up or down. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down to the belly. Inhale, cobra, peel the heart up. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. Coming back to steady, smooth breaths. If you're in down dog, glance back at the feet. Make sure heels are hidden behind those second toes. Really press out of the shoulders and slope the hips up. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale, gaze forward, slight bend in the knees. Exhale, feet to the hands. Walker, maybe float those feet up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. And exhale, gather the palms at the heart. Keep going. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plank pose. Knees up or down. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale to the belly or if chaturanga is in your practice, halfway down. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, child's pose or downward dog. Once again, coming back to your breath. Maybe taking a moment to come back to your intention. Keep the belly firm, neck relaxed. Inhale, gaze up, bend the knees. Exhale, feet to the hands. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, fold. Root through the feet, rise to stand as you inhale. And exhale, palms connect. Last cycle, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in half. Lengthen the spine, inhale. Exhale, plank pose, knees up or down. Inhale, shift the shoulders forward. Exhale, lower halfway or to the belly. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. Breathing here. These sun salutations are meant to warm the body up. And they're kind of a whole practice in themselves. So wherever you are, take another cycle or two. Now, either from down dog or from child's pose, if your child's come to hands and knees, we're going to step the right foot up. If you're in down dog, you can lift the right leg from down dog. You're going to step up right by the right hand. Now, this time we're going to stay on the ball of the back foot, so we're going to come into a high lunge. Bring the hands to the hips, bend the left knee, and slowly come on up. Now, feet shouldn't be about hips distance apart. So if feet are too close together, you might be a little bit wobbly. Bend the back knee and tilt the pelvis forward, and then firm the belly, and then straighten through that left leg, or you can keep a bend in that back knee. If you feel this in the lower back, keep a bend in that knee. And we'll reach the arms up and breathe here. And if this is too much to add the arms, just keep the palms together in front of the heart. Now pull this right hip back as you spin the left hip forward. Three more breaths here. Last cycle. Excellent. Palms meet in front of the heart, and then we're going to straighten the right leg. Now spin the left foot flat, and we're going to heel toe the right foot to the left to come into our warrior two. So align your front heel with your back inner arch, arms to a T, soften the shoulders, take an inhale, and as you exhale, we'll bend into the right knee. So again, heel arch alignment with the feet. Left toes are angled in slightly. Right knee draws open and take five breaths here. Sink down into it. Lifting the heart up. Softening through the face. Now 
One more breath here. Reverse your warrior, slide your left hand down your left leg, reach your right arm up and over. And then we'll inhale, come back to warrior two, straighten the right leg, parallel the feet, bring hands to hips so outer edges are parallel with the short side of the mat. As you inhale, open the heart and gaze up. And then as you exhale, come forward with a long spine, fingertips down. Now you can put fingertips on a block, a book, a water bottle if they don't reach the floor. As you inhale, pull the heart forward, lengthening the spine once again. And as you exhale, fold in a little deeper. Maybe you walk the hands back in line with the feet. Shift the weight out of the heels so it's more distributed into the balls of the feet. And tuck the chin to release the neck. Squeeze the thighs and take three more breaths. And then walk the fingertips back under the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen, flat back once again. Bend the knees slightly, bring the hands to the hips, and then slowly come to stand. We'll come back to our warrior two. So right toes turn out, left toes angle in. All right, take an inhale. As you exhale, circle the hands down, step back to plank pose, and either move through a vinyasa or go right to child's or down dog. If you're moving through a vinyasa, knees up or down, shift forward, inhale. Exhale to the belly or halfway down. Inhale, open the heart. And exhale, send it back. Take a couple cycles here before we do the other side. Notice how you feel. All right, next inhale, you'll step the left foot up. So either come to the knees or from down dog, you can lift the left leg if you want and then step it up by the hand. Now again, be on the back toes. We're coming up to our high lunge. So hands to the hips, bend the right knee, tilt the pelvis forward, firm the belly, and then maybe you straighten through that back leg, adding the arms if that's appropriate. And we'll sink down in and breathe here. Now this time, left hip pulls back. Right hip and rib cage spin forward. Same thing as earlier, soften the shoulders, but energize through those fingertips. One more breath. Palms together in front of the heart. Straighten the left leg. We'll stamp the back foot flat. Heel toe the left foot over to the right. Heel to arch alignment again. Arms to a T. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, bend into your warrior two on this side. Left knee guides open, grounding through the outer edge of the right foot. Sinking in for five deep, long breaths. Lift your back arm is up just as high as the front arm, and your gaze here is right over the left fingertips. cycle. Inhale to reverse. And we'll slowly come on back up. Straighten the left leg. Parallel the feet. So turn the left toes in. Hands to the hips. Take an inhale as you open the heart and gaze up. As you exhale, come forward. Bring the fingertips down. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. And as you exhale, fold it a little deeper. This time maybe you grab onto the legs. Tucking the chin, shifting the weight forward and squeezing the inner thighs. Three long, slow, deep breaths here. All right, release what you got. Fingertips under the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Slight bend in the knees. Bring the hands to the hips and slowly come up to stand. Left toes out, right toes in. Warrior two, take an inhale. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Step back and either down dog, child's pose, or vinyasa. All 
right, last downward dog. If you're there of the practice, spread the fingers, spread the toes, really feel those thighs draw into the hip sockets. Couple more breaths. Set the knees down. We'll be in our child's pose. You can separate the knees a little bit wide to rest the belly and the rib cage down. All right, now interlace the fingers at the lower back. And then we'll slowly begin to stretch the knuckles up to get into the shoulders. Keep a little micro bend in the elbows here. Head is relaxed, forehead presses down. This is not comfortable. You can rest the forehead on your towel or a block. Just take another breath. And then release, stretch the arms forward. Take a full cycle here. And then we'll interlace the fingers again, one finger over, so other thumb on top. And then when you're ready, stretch the arms up and over once again. Keeping that slight bend in the elbows. Neck is neutral. Deeply breathing here. Release, fingertips extend forward once again. Take a breath. And then walk the hands back in. Come on up to sit on the knees and then we'll cross the ankles, sit behind the legs and we'll lower down all the way to our back. We're gonna do some work down on our backs. Come on down slowly. All right, we'll go through a couple bridge poses. So walk the heels in so you can gently graze the backs of the heels with the fingertips. Arms next to the sides. Take a moment here to spread the toes out. All right. Press evenly into all four corners of the feet and then lift the hips up for a gentle bridge pose. Now you can keep hands next to you. You can grab the sides of the sticky mat or maybe interlace the fingers and roll up onto the shoulders. Keep the neck long. Belly firm and spin the inner thighs down like you're holding a big either towel or a block between the inner thighs. Deep breaths here. One more cycle. And then slowly release, lower yourself down. Bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall wide. Rest one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. And take a moment to think of something that you're grateful for. Draw the knees back in. We'll come up for another round of these. So arms by the sides, walk the heels in. Make sure they're close enough you can touch the backs of the heels. Then we'll spread the toes and we'll lift up. This will be our last bridge pose. If you prefer wheel and that's in your practice, you can go into that. We're gonna hold wherever you are for five breaths. So again, you can interlace the fingers or pull the sides of the mat. I'm going to try to press the weight evenly into both the inner and the outer arches of the feet. So a lot of us tend to roll into the outsides of the feet, root down through the big toe mound and all the way through that inner arch as well. Lift the hips up a little higher, chest towards the chin, but keep the neck long. Two more breaths. Excellent, slowly roll down. And same thing, soles of the feet together, knees open, hand to the belly, hand to the heart. Take another moment to think of something else you're grateful for today. Maybe just this time you're giving yourself. And 
then guide the knees back in. Bend the knees, feet on the mat. Cross the right ankle up and over the left thigh, coming to thread the needle. Flex the right ankle so the toes curl back, and then you can keep the left foot down or grab the legs, reaching the back of the left thigh or grabbing onto the front of the left shin. Soften the shoulders. Soften the jaw. Take some of the deepest breaths you've taken all day. Keep the length through the spine, lower back stamps down. Release the legs, but keep the cross. Bring the arms out to a T, take an inhale. And as you exhale, let the knees fall over to the left as you gaze off the right shoulder. If you want to go deeper, you can cross top knee over the bottom knee and maybe even bump the hips a little bit to the right. Rounding those shoulders, spinning the belly up. back to center, level the hips out again, and then we'll cross the left ankle up and over the right thigh, curl the left toes back, and again, you can stay here or draw the legs in, grabbing the back of the right thigh or front of the right shin. Shoulder blades press down, sacrum presses down. Deep breaths, as you soften into it. Scan through the body, and if you're holding any tension, breathe into those areas and allow them to soften. Use your breath, especially the exhale, to release anything that you no longer need, whether it's physical, mental, emotional. Let it all go with the breath. the right foot down, open the arms to a T, take an inhale and as you exhale, legs to the right as you gaze to the left. So again, you can keep the legs like this or cross knee over knee, maybe bump the hips to the left. Belly and chest spins up. Just twisting it out. gentle flow to get the blood flowing this morning. After your next exhale, slowly come back to center. We'll come in for one final happy baby. So legs come up, feet flex towards the sky, grab onto the shins, outer edges of the feet. I like to hook the big toes with the two peace fingers. Lengthen the lower back as you draw the knees down by the side ribs. If it feels good, maybe rock yourself a little side to side. If there's any other poses the body's calling for, you can certainly move into them now. Take one more breath wherever you are. And we'll make our way into our final resting pose. We'll do a quick little body scan before we really sink into it. So extend the legs out, let the feet flop open, arms by the sides, palms face up. Take a moment to bring the awareness to the feet. Relax the toes, bottoms of the feet tops of the feet, relax the ankles, relax the shins, calves, the knees and the thighs, 
Allow the hips to feel heavy and soft. Relax the back, the belly, the chest, the shoulders. Let the upper arms soften, the elbows, forearms, the wrist, the hands, the fingers. Relax the back of the head, the jaw, soften the muscles around the eyes. Smooth the brow. Relax the face as a whole. And take a moment to relax the entire body as a whole. Take a big inhale through the nostrils. And as you exhale, sigh it out of the mouth. Come to natural breath, quiet minds. Quiet bodies, Shavasana, rest. Take a slightly longer breath. Lengthen the body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Rolling out the wrists and the ankles. Reach the arms up and overhead for a nice long full body stretch. Hug the knees in. Roll off to one side, pausing here for a moment. Coming back to your intention. And thanking yourself for showing up today. Gently pressing yourself up to any comfortable seated pose. And sit the hips back up on that blanket or towel if that feels better, or just come to seated on the mat. Connect the palms in front of the heart. Keep the eyes closed. Notice how you feel in the body. Lift the heart up. Bow the head in. Thank you all so much for letting me share my practice. Namaste. Thank you much, so much for joining me today on your mats. My name is Lindsay Silver. This was a 45-minute gentle yoga class. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back, be back on Thursday for a power class and Saturday for a vinyasa. And again, if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, please leave them. And I hope to see you back. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Enjoy.